Here we go. Should, oh, light the cross? No, we don't need it. Our God, who is now and ever unto ages of ages. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory be to thee, our God. Glory be to thee. O heavenly King, comforter, and spirit of truth. Art in all places, and fill us all things, treasure of good things, and giver of life. Come and dwell in us and cleanse us from every stain and save our souls, O gracious Lord. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever unto ages of ages. Amen. O all Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy God, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory be to the Father, and, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit now, now and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and unto ages of ages. Amen. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise Him in the highest. Praise Him, all you His angels. Praise Him, all His hosts. Praise Him, sun and moon. Praise Him, all you stars and light. Praise Him, you heavens and heavens and thou waters above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord. For He spoke and they came to be. He commanded and they were created. He established them forever, even up to the ages of ages. He set a decree, and it shall not pass away. Praise the Lord from the earth, you dragons and you deeps, fire and hell, snow and frost, stormy wind, all fulfilling his words. Mountains and hills, and angels, and all cedars, beasts, and all cattle, creeping things, and feathered birds, kings of the earth, and all the peoples, princes, and all the judges of the earth, young men and maidens, old men and youths. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted. His praise is above the earth and heaven, and he will rise up the horn of his people. A hymn for all his saints, for the children of Israel, and for the people that draw nigh unto him. Sing unto the Lord a new song, his praise in the congregation of the saints. Let Israel rejoice in him that he made him. Let the sons of Zion rejoice in their king. Let them praise his name in chorus with temple and softly. Let them sing unto him, for the Lord is well pleased with his people and shall exalt the meek unto salvation. The saints shall boast in glory and shall be joyful on their beds. The exaltation of God shall be in their thrones and to add sword in their hands to execute execute vengeance upon the nations and chastisement among the peoples to bind their kings their kings with fet fetters and their glorious ones with manacles of iron to execute on them the judgment that is written his glory shall be to all his saints psalm 150 Praise God, his saints. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. 
Praise him according to the multitude of his majesty. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the psalter and harp. Praise him with timber and core. Praise him with stringed instruments and pipes. Praise him with sounding cymbals. Praise him with symbols of jubilation. Let every breath praise the Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory be to thee, O Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory be to you, O Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory be to you, O Lord, our Creator. Glory be to thee. In peace let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy for the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy for the peace of the whole world, for the welfare of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy for this holy monastery and for those who enter with faith and reverence and the fear of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy for our Lord. His Holiness Patriarch Nicholas, for our Patri for the Holy Synod of Bishops, for the Honorable Priest, for the Diaconate of King Christ, for all the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For all civil authorities and for the armed forces of the United States of America, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city, for this holy monastery, for every city and country, and for the faithful dwelling in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For reasonable, seasonable weather, for abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For travelers by land, by sea, and by air, for the sick and the suffering, for captives and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have, have mercy. mercy. That the Lord will bless this bell to the glory of his holy name with his heavenly blessing let us pray to the lord lord have mercy that you will grant in the grace that that all who enter who, who hear its sound whether by day or by night shall be roused to the glorification of thy holy name let us pray to the lord, lord have mercy that by the voice of its right ringing all destructive winds, storms, thunder and lightning, and all harmful weather and destructive things of the air may be appeased, calm and cease to be. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord have mercy. that it may drive away every power, craft and slander of the invisible enemies from all his own faithful people who shall have heard the voice of its ringing and arouse them to the observance of his commandments let us pray to the lord lord have mercy for the servants of god edward and marilyn who offer this bell to the solemn monastery for their health and salvation and for the visitation of god upon them let us pray to the lord God grant them many blessed years, commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and one another in our, our lives to Christ our God, to Thee, O Lord. For unto thee are the all glory, honor, and worship, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Um, take this incense in your hand. Give me the censer, please. down there to this and come on with me after me.
I'm gonna pour all that in the fire there. All the incense, about the charcoal. All of it, just put it there. Up. It will set it a fire. Well, thankfully the creator created water, right? To quench the fires. covenant thou didst command thy servant the, law, the lawgiver Moses to make silver trumpets and the sons of Aaron the priests to bow to them when they would offer sacrifice unto thee that thy people and heard the voice of the prophets and prepare themselves to worship thee that they might gather themselves together to offer sacrifices unto thee and with the resounding voice of these trumpets in times of war they might arm themselves with a might for victory over their enemies. Now, O most holy master, humbly beseech thee, look down mercifully on the servants of the creature of all thy worthy servants, and upon this bell, passion for the service of thy holy church, and the glory of thy magnificent and all holy name, with thy heavenly blessings and the grace of the all thine all consecrated spirit. Do thou bless and consecrate it. And send down about it the power of thy grace, that thy, service, that, that thy faithful servants, having heard the voice of its peal, may be strengthened in fight with pain, and with courage may oppose all the slanders of Satan, and overcome them by prayer and by the everlasting glorification of thee, the true God, that with haste day and night they might be held to the church in prayer and glorification of thy holy name. May storms, hail, whirlwinds, fearful thunder and lightning, evil and destructive winds, befalling them by be appeased, calm and made to cease at its ringing. For thou, O Lord, our God, use not only spiritual and living and living things for thy glory, and for the salvation and use of thy faithful, but also in animal things, such as the staff of Moses and the bronze servant in the wilderness. For as thou dost desire, thou dost work most glorious things and perform miracles. For everything is possible for thee, Creator, and nothing is impossible. And unto thee do we send up glory, to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages, peace be with all of you. Bow your head to the Lord, to you, O Lord. O Master.
Eastern God, the Father Almighty, who and the voice of the trumpet when seven priests went before the ark of testimony, these caused the firm walls of Jericho to fall down and crumble. And these that are all living, all living in the city unto the hands of my people. Feel now also this bell a heavenly blessing, that the voice of its ringing, when it's heard, may banish the power of, con of contrary winds far away from the cities of thy faithful, and extinguish all the arrows of their fire destructive falling upon us, that this that is devout, dev devouring lightning, and by thine all powerful and mighty right arm, let the falling hail and every evil and harmful wind be held back and driven away. Yea, let them be appeased, calm, and banished. For thou dost work all these things to thy glory, and they may be a means to our salvation. For thine is to be merciful and to save us, O our God. And unto thee do we send up glory to the Father who is without being, together with thine only begotten Son and thy all holy good and life creating Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages, ages. Amen. sanctifies by the sprinkling of this holy water in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. This bell is best with the holy water in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Psalm 69. Hopefully you'll see it with the crossing anytime. O God, attend unto my help. O Lord, hasten to help me. Let them be put to shame and confounded that seek after my soul. Let them be turned back and brought to shame that desire evils for me. Let them be turned back at once and brought to shame. They say unto me, Well done, well done. Let all rejoice and be glad in thee that seek after thee, O God. And let them that love thy salvation say continually, The Lord be magnified. But I am poor and needy, O God. Do thou help me. Thou art my helper and my deliverer. O Lord, do not tarry. Glory to Thee, O Holy Trinity, our God, glory to Thee. Let's hold it like this. To the glory of the Holy Trinity, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The glory of the Holy Trinity. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. To the glory of the Holy Trinity. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. To the glory of the Holy Trinity. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. Christ is risen from the dead. To the children from death and to those in the tombs he granted life. To the glory of the Holy Trinity, Alleluia. 
Alleluia, Alleluia. Behold how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. It is like the precious ointment upon the head, running down the beard, even the beard of Aaron, running down to the fall of the Lord. Like the dew of the Mount Horeb. And as the dew that descends upon Mount Zion, for the Lord commands the blessing, even life forevermore. Wisdom! Wisdom! Let us be at And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Make for yourself two silver trumpets of hammered work. You shall make them, and they shall be for you for the call of the assembly and the breaking of the camps. And if you shall sound with them, the whole congregation shall be gathered to you before the doors of the tent of witness. And if they shall sound with one trumpet, all the rulers, even the heads of the multitudes of Israel, shall come to you. When you sound an alarm, the camps pitched to the east shall break. And when you sound an alarm a second time, the camps pitched to the south shall break. And when you sound an alarm a third time, the camps pitched to the west shall break. And when you sound an alarm a fourth time, the camps pitched to the north shall break. And they shall sound an alarm at their departures. And when you shall gather together for an assembly, you shall sound, but not an alarm. And the priests and sons of Aaron shall sound with the trumpets, and it shall be to you a perpetual statute throughout your generations. And if you shall go forth to war in your land against your enemies, who oppress you, then you shall sound a signal with the trumpets, and you shall be remembered before the Lord, and you shall be saved from your enemies. And in the days of your rejoicing, and in your feasts, and in your new moons, you shall sound with the trumpets over the whole burnt offerings, and over your peace offerings, and there shall be for you a remembrance before your God, I am the Lord your God. Creator, hold the wind just a little bit more. Just a bit longer. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Lord, who by thyself alone did special all things instantly in the beginning, and who now, through the voice of this consecrated bell, dost affect everything among us, do thou banish all despondency and laziness from the hearts of thy faithful. Grant the fear of thee, 